These kids aren't even trying to hide their crimes, targeting train and bus commuters in terrifying daytime attacks that are uploaded to social media. No one is off limits, including the elderly. The fact that my son can't walk 100 metres past his front door without being mugged for shoes is insane. They're abusive. I will kick your teeth in. Thieving and downright dangerous. With little to no regard for authority. Knock it off! No, no. Hold him back! No! We're seeing uh, reports of these groups, these gangs coming down, uh, using public transport, getting into the shopping centres and then committing their crimes. Do you fear this problem will escalate further? I think it could. I think because nothing ever happens, these kids can't be or won't be um, punished. So the groups just get bigger and bigger. With two young teenage sons, Annie never really worried about them walking the 200 metres home from their local train station. There was a time where you could walk the streets and be safe, but you can't anymore. That's until her 12-year-old son and his friend were attacked in the middle of the day. The kid in the white shirt, that kid right there, he was the one that, uh, that stole my shoe. The pair were approached just metres from home by three wannabe thugs believed to be eshes who use social media to boast about their bad behaviour. It was pretty deceitful, actually, because they, they made out that they wanted to measure his foot size and see if their size matched their feet with the same size. Not wanting to antagonise the group, Annie's son did what they asked. That's when they ripped his sneaker off his foot. It feels like it was just yesterday. He was distraught. He was traumatised. He hardly slept the night after. And ever since, he's been very aware of groups of kids. After her son rushed home, Annie called the police and set out to follow the boys, snapping these pictures as police caught up with one of the thugs. The police knew who they were. They were known to police all three of them already um, and they had other charges being laid against them. Now Annie's son is too scared to catch the train for fear of being attacked again. They roam in groups and they pick on people who are easy targets and they go from train station to train station. Eshes have long been a problem on the Gold Coast and right around Australia, dressing in designer clothes with bum bags, taking drugs and lashing out. Give me my watch right now! Do I mind? Yeah. Wait, no, give me my... They're wannabe thugs who act tough and like to publicise it. Why are you acting all Eshes? Hey, what the But now the fear is they're getting more violent with our train and bus stations, the new hangout spot. Locals are fed up. Oh, I'll just call them eshes. That's all they are. They're just low scum. I've seen like a whole lot of fights posted on Facebook, a whole lot of violence, um, elderly abuse, a lot of. People just don't eyeball them. That's it. And businesses near the stations are fed up too, targeted by the thugs who continually steal. In this vision, a girl puts an item down her pants. On another day, a young boy shoves something up his shirt. And in this CCTV, another boy places a stolen item in his pocket. When confronted by a staff member, he bolts out of the shop. They can come down on the rail with some level of anonymity, uh, go into the shopping centres, commit their offences and go back. Criminologist from Bond University Terry Goldsworthy says shopping centres near public transport are hotspots for crime and cause headaches for police. We know that shopping centres are attractive to criminal elements because uh, they provide a target-rich environment, so it is quite a difficult thing to uh, police. And he wants to see more police in the area and tougher consequences for the thugs, but fears things could get worse before they get better. The kids, they go out there and they offend and they know that they'll get a slap on the wrist and they'll be sent on their way. There is no repercussions for them. They, and they bet on that. Queensland police have launched Operation Luminous to target unruly and violent behaviour at train stations.